Hello and welcome back to my video. This is a uh, this is but this is on Wattpad from Instrumental Break. A uh, first date Satnap X reader. Satnap. Satnap's POV. Dude, you need to chill out. Dream said on the other line as I paced around my room, stern at the clo stern at the clothes laying out on my bed. I can't, man. I re I really want this to go well. I sighed, sitting on the edge of my bed. I heard Dream sigh through my earpods. It will it will go well. She obviously like really likes you, and you like her too. Just be you. I ran a hand through my hair nervously. I don't want to screw up or make things awkward or or it stop that right now. If you talk to yourself like that. Before you even pick her up, you ruin it for yourself. Satnap, she likes you. She liked you before she knew you liked her. You've liked this girl for months. The only way you could ruin this is by putting yourself down and talking and talking yourself out of it. Now calm down and choose your outfit so you so you aren't late to pick her up. I took a deep breath and nodded, even though he couldn't see me. I still don't brush myself myself off and and looked at my op options I had laid out again. I wasn't one to focus too much on what I was wearing, but I wanted to look good tonight. I was taking Wyan on our first day together. I was excited, but also so nervous. I had called Dream to ask for advice. After another moment of concentration, I picked up a nice shirt, jeans, and a black jacket. It was simple but clean. Okay, I said, it's okay, I said to Dream as I fixed my hair in my mirror. I think I'm ready. Yes, go sat up, he cheered and I laughed. Good luck, buddy, he said, and I smiled. Thanks, let, I'll let you know how it goes. I hung up, I hung up inside, taking my earpods out and shoving them in my pocket. I took one last look in the mirror, took a deep breath, and headed out. YN's POV I stepped out onto my porch where headlights blinded me, and I quickly covered my eyes. It was definitely Nick waiting, waiting in his, waiting in his car for me. I smiled and waved, even though I couldn't see him clearly. Clearly, and I heard the driver's door open. Nick, Nick walked up to me with a smile that was clearly an attempt to, at looking calm, but his eyes were saying otherwise. It was rather cute, and I had to admit. Hey, he said, and I noticed him quickly glance at what I was wearing. His cheeks turned pink, and he held back a giggle. You look so pretty, he said, and he held and he held out a hand to me. I chuckled, taking it as he led, as he led time, as he led time to the truck. He had clearly he had clearly borrowed from one of his buddies. Why you're so polite and laughed as he opened the door for for me. He shrugged, smiling away and waited for me to get in. After we were all settled in the truck, he turned the radio on quiet qu quietly and and pulled out and put out my driveway. We talked for a bit, mostly just small talk about our days and whatnot, but it didn't take long for us to be laughing like we always did. After a few minutes, we pulled, we pulled, uh, hold on. Okay, we pulled into a side road with a sign that read, Drive-In Theater, and a movie list li listing for the shows tonight. I smiled when I realized we came to see Back to the Future, which was one of my favorite movies. No wonder Nick has had pushed the date a day later than the original plan. I couldn't believe he even remembered. He paid. He paid for our tickets, and we headed. And we headed. And we backed into the first row of park of parking spots. Nick put Nick put the truck in park and turned and turned to me with a smile. You ready? He asked, and I nodded, smiling. We got back out of the truck and walked around the back, where he where he. O popped open the back of the truck to reveal a pile of blankets, pillows, and snacks. I gasped excitedly. You did all this? I asked, turned to him, and he nodded, rubbing the back of his neck sheepishly. You like it? I nodded with a grin. This is so cool. He smiled proudly, climbing into the back of the truck and offering me a hand. I took it, even though I couldn't have easily lifted myself up 
and climbed in. I observed the little setup he had made, my heart fluttering with excitement. He made this for me, and he had clearly put quite a bit of time into it. We settled down with the snacks on our laps next to each other, covering ourselves in layers of blankets as the sun started to set. We laughed and talked until the movie started, and we quickly went quiet so we could enjoy it. I noticed I noticed Nick had, con- had connected a small s- speaker to the radio inside of his truck, where he fed the wire through the back window so we could hear the movie from outside. We had thought of, we, he had thought of everything. About half an hour into the movie, I felt myself getting kind of sleepy, and I yawned on un, untimely. Alright, tired, he chuckled and rolled my eyes. No, I smiled and he laughed again. He put in he put an arm around my shoulder and pulled me gently towards him, until my head was laying on his shoulder. He laid his head on mine and he and we continued to watch the movie in a comfortable silence. It was so warm, so safe to be held by him like that. I never wanted to move. A little time skip. Too soon the movie ended and people started to pack up their cars. As much as I didn't want to move from his arms, I also didn't want to get yelled at by the employees for for lottering, so we both got for loot No nope, for lottering. So we both got up and started to put things away. We got back into the truck and drove out, out into the night. The giant screen disappearing behind us. The radio played quietly in the background as we sat in a comfortable silence. My hand draped out the window and him focusing on the road. He hummed whatever song was playing and I glanced over at him. His hair was blowing slightly in the night air, his cheeks tinted pink from the chill. One hand was on the steering wheel and the other was resting on the on the window. The silent the silent the, sil- the slightest smile on his face. I blushed, smiling. He was so cute, even when he wasn't trying to be. We continued driving in silence until, until, to my disappointment, we were back in my house. He put the truck in park and looked over, at, and looked over at me with a smile. Tonight was really fun. I, sm- I smiled, feeling my cheeks heat up. Yeah, for sure. It was clear neither of us wanted to say goodbye. Here, let me walk you to the door. He said, opening his door. You don't have to do that. I chuckled. It's only a few feet away. He rolled his eyes. On being a gentleman, we both laughed and eventually hopped out of the truck. We walked. He walked me up to my front door, and we faced each other in the light in the light of the headlights. We looked at each other in silence for a moment. The sound of crickets and soft night and the soft night breeze in the background. Can I? His gaze softened, and it was clear he was nervous. Can I kiss you? I nodded, and he gently pulled me in for a kiss. We stayed like that for a minute, just enjoying the feeling of being so close until we slowly pulled apart. We had to do this again, he whispered, while we were still clo- while, we- while we were still close together. I nodded, smiling. Def- I nodded, smiling definitely. Satnav's POV. I ran into my bedroom, grinning. Pat. Picking up my ear ear pods and calling Dream from my phone, I flopped. I flipped onto my bed, signed just as he picked up. It's like Minna. What do you want? Dream asked sleepily. Dude, this is this is the best night of my life. And that is the end of the story. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Anyways, I hope you have a good day, night, afternoon. Anyways, if you want if you want more videos, just just. Um, just subscribe, hit a like, and I don't know if you can comment down below, but I hope you guys like this video, but you don't have to do all of that if you don't want to. Anyways, bye.